Okay, today I'm going to be seeing if Never Wet can actually get wet. I'm going to be testing it on a bunch of different things. I'm going to be putting it on bread, sugar, and even sodium metal and seeing if the Never Wet can protect the sodium metal from reacting with the water. Let's see if we get an explosion or not. And I'd like to thank Wix for sponsoring this video. Wix is a platform that lets you build amazing websites. So I used Wix to build my actionlabhome.com website. It's one of the best experiences I've had with any platform building a website. So Wix offers hundreds of templates and unlimited pages and top grade hosting for free. Wix is also really technically advanced. I was so impressed with how I can even make my own personalized SEO plan and even get the analytics of visitors to my site. So the website I built is called theactionlabhome.com. So this is a site that I built so that you can learn a little bit more about me. So I talk a little bit about my history in chemical engineering, my PhD, you can even read my dissertation if you want, and my subscription box that I'm working on, and a few other projects like my books that I'm writing. So when making this site, I was very impressed by how creative I could be with the website, and also how professional it turned out in the end. You can see with the Wix editor, you can easily move things around, change anything you want, and customize it any way you want. There are also a ton of other Wix features I can't wait to try out, like Wix Video. I'll be able to upload my YouTube videos as backgrounds and have them all connected to my website. So go check out Wix and support the Action Lab by going to wix.com go slash action lab or click the link in my description to take you there. Okay, so I have here a paper towel. So normally when I pour water on a paper towel, obviously the paper towel is designed to attract the water. And the reason that cellulose attracts water is because it has these small groups of oxygen hydrogen. And the oxygen likes to pull electrons towards it more, and so it leaves a slight positive charge on the hydrogen and a slight negative charge on the oxygen. And that is also what happens with water. Water molecules have a slight negative charge on the oxygen and a slight positive charge on the hydrogen. And so those charges can combine together and they electrically stick to each other. And so it makes the water want to stick to the cellulose. And because it wants to stick to the cellulose and it has a bunch of tiny little pores in it, there's a lot of surface area to stick to and so it easily absorbs the water. But if you can just cover up those cellulose molecules with some other molecule that's not polar, something that does not attract water to it, then you can make it hydrophobic. For example, here's a paper towel now that I've sprayed Never Wet on it. Now watch what happens when I pour the water on it. So it just forms this bubble on top of it. So the water cannot absorb into the paper towel at all. It's because those OH groups are blocked, so there's nothing attracting the water. And since the water is attracted to itself, it stays in this little ball on top of it. And it slightly flattens out because gravity is pushing it down. So we call this water repellent, but what's interesting is that the water's not being repelled. In fact, the water is attracted to itself. The only thing is, is that we've stopped the cellulose from being attracted to the water. And so the water just naturally forms into a ball by itself. And so the more hydrophobic a surface is, the bigger the angle that the water will make off the surface. And what's interesting is what makes surfaces even more hydrophobic is not only if they have a hydrophobic molecule on top of it, but also if there's little tiny bumps on it that keeps air trapped underneath. That makes it super hydrophobic. So Never Wet has hydrophobic molecules that coat the surface, but it also makes tiny little bumps and ridges, and so it makes this super hydrophobic surface. And so what I'm going to do with this today is I want to see what would happen if you put Never Wet on bread. Bread has a bunch of tiny little bumps and air pockets in it, and so I think it would make a really good hydrophobic surface. I want to see if you could actually repel water that's on bread if you spray Never Wet on it. And then I also want to see if you can stop sugar from dissolving, because sugar is actually a very polar molecule. And then finally, the true test is I want to see if you spray Never Wet on sodium metal, if it will actually stop the metal from reacting with water and stop an explosion from happening. Okay, the bread is done. Now let's see what our sodium does. So I'm gonna scratch off the surface to make sure it's a fresh surface. Okay, I don't think it will react with this, but stand back just to be safe. Okay, let's let that dry for a while. OK, 
Okay, let's spray our sugar. Okay, let's do our second coat here. So the sodium has turned yellow here. Not sure why. Some reaction with the base coat here. But let's give it a spray with the top coat. All right, so first let's try out our bread. So after letting the bread dry for 24 hours now, it's, it has this white tint to it. So let's see what happens when we put water on it now. Okay, hydrophobic bread. Three, two, one. <laughs> huh, it worked. <laughs> this is just water now with blue food coloring so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see what happens when we pull it on top of it. <laughs> well, it's getting smaller. Where's it going? <laughs> It got sucked into one of those holes. <laughs> That's cool. So it looked like it still stayed in that hydrophobic drop on top, but it must have caught onto one absorbent spot in the middle and it sucked the drop in. <laughs> so you can see it float around on top. It starts to get sucked into one of the holes and then it's gone. <laughs> Okay, now let's see what happens when we put the whole piece of bread in water. Okay, hydrophobic bread in water. Whoa. It's actually bubbling. Look at all those air bubbles on it. So as it bubbles up, that means the water's going into it. When you see the bubbles coming out of it, you can see it shimmers like that because of the air bubbles trapped in between. So what the hydrophobic surface does is it traps air in between the water and the bread. So it looks like even though the inside of the bread is filling with water, the outside still, still stays really hydrophobic. And so it keeps the bread together. So this is interesting, when I pull it out, the bread still looks dry on top, but this is actually wet, soggy bread inside. So the reason, again, why it can still soak in water is because the never wet wasn't able to get into the, all of the pores inside just from spraying it on top. And so once that water can penetrate in there enough, it just keeps sucking it in and sucking it in. This is weird. This is weird because normally the bread just falls apart when you get it wet, but this is staying together. It's kind of like a bread sponge right now. So it still stayed together. The world's first bread sponge. So here's what normal sugar looks like in water. You can see that it just dissolves quite quickly in the water. Now here's our sugar that we've coated with Never Wet. So let's see if the water can actually get through the Never Wet and dissolve the sugar. Let's pour this sugar and see what happens. Okay, three, two, one. Huh. It's not dissolving. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's just floating around like snow. <laughs> it's just floating around, not dissolving at all. So if I so if I squish it around, actually the sugar dissolves out of the center of it and then you're kind of left with this coating. So there, this actually isn't sugar now. So after a while, what I'm left with is just this coating of the Never Wet. So things aren't looking too good for my objects that I've coated with Never Wet. Looks like it was able to soak into the bread and the sugar. The final test now is the sodium. Okay, so my sodium ended up, after I let it dry for 24 hours, took on a very bright yellow color. All right, let's get some water for it to react with. And then I'm gonna be having my brave robot help me. Last time this guy helped me, he sustained some injuries. You can see it got corroded on the front here from some liquid burning sodium hitting the front of it. Let's give it the sodium. Okay, here we go.
Okay, drop it and run. Hey, it's not exploding. Huh. Uh, uh oh. See something happening. It's starting to bubble. Uh oh. Uh oh, something's happening. Oh, there it goes. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh, there it goes. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That was loud. Holy cow. All the molten sodium just shot up at my garage door holder. I gotta wipe that off quickly. So at first it didn't do anything. The sodium just sat there and the water wasn't getting into it. But there must have been one little spot where the water was able to get in. And then it started heating up more and more and more and probably was able to melt that outside surface. And then just a huge explosion happened all at once. I think because it was able to get really hot inside before the water heat it, hit it and then it just exploded like crazy. <laughs> so, gotta let the garage air out here. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out, and head over to theactionlab.com to check out my new subscription box. I just approved the final orders to be shipped out in early October. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.